Hey everyone, this is week one where our theme is Our Majestic and Gracious God, and this is day four. We will be reading from Exodus 3, verses 13 to 15. And, the t um, and you can follow along with me as I read the Bible today. Let me just share my screen quick. But Moses protested, if I go to the people of Israel and tell them, the God of your ancestors has sent me to you, they will ask me, what is his name? Then what should I tell them? God replied to Moses, I am who I am. Say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, say this to the people of Israel, Yahweh, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my eternal name, my name to remember for all generations. Here ends our reading today. All right. Well, the reflection I have for us today is entitled, Who is God? Who is God? Can you imagine meeting God face to face? That's what was happening to Moses in our reading today. Do you remember the story of the burning bush? Moses was in the presence of the almighty and great I am. God introduced himself as I am who I am. The emphasis here cannot be denied. God also says, this is my eternal name, my name to remember for all generations. Yahweh is the great I am. God has given us a message here, revealing a little of his majesty. His name is eternal. That is, God has no beginning or no end. Hallelujah. Let's not lose any of the magnitude of this message Moses received. It's profound. I encourage you to read um, another blog post or at least the Bible verse, um, Exodus 3, 11 to 22. And there's also a song you can listen to, um, and it's called The Great I Am from Phillips, Craig, and Dean. So make a note of that because I believe that song will really help you know, us all focus on the majesty and greatness of God. It's a powerful song. But for now, put yourself in Moses' shoes. How would you respond to being in God's presence like that? Did you know we can be in the presence of God like that because of Jesus? Jesus opened the door for us to be in God's presence. We have been given the, the knowledge that God is all around us. And we can tap into the power of God living through us when we ask. I know my heart is pumping a little faster as I sit with this beautiful realization of the truth. Jesus has ushered us right into the family of God. The holiness of the inner court is available to us. I feel so empowered by that, and I hope you do too. There have been people who have told me that I am a courageous Christian. My response has been, how could I be anything else? The times we are living in are not easy. They never have been, really. Looking back over the ages, I'm not sure if there's ever been a time when being faithful was easy, much less popular. Think, I think of people, you know, hiding their faith and living in fear when they would much prefer to shout it out from the rooftops. I've seen families broken apart because of differing beliefs. Knowing that we serve a God who died for us, to give us a way to be saved from our sins. Now that is special. That's the God of my heart, our hearts. I am in awe 
of the majesty of God and that he would want a relationship with me. Can you relate to that? He wants one with you too. Sit with that thought today. And let's pray together. Repeat after me. Father, thank you for opening my eyes. to your majesty and might. Thank you for giving me a courageous heart. To not be still about my faith in you. Continue to give me the strength and endurance I need. to run this race with you, Lord. Use me as you see fit today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. Have a fantastic day.